It was such a great taste of what it could be like. I think it helped me for the real things. Perfect names. I, I have a few nicknames. Tell me more about the pizza party. <laughs> Winning the US Open 18, it was a quick turnaround. Hi, I'm Emma and I'm in Brighton with Prime Video LT Youth Girls. And I've given three girls the chance to ask me anything. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So I hear you have some questions. Yes. Um, what would be your advice for girls starting out in tennis? Put yourself out there. Don't be shy. Even on days like today when it's rainy, just keep going. Play in the rain even. It's fun. Do you have any nicknames? <laughs> nicknames. I, I have a few nicknames. When I was younger, I would be called Radder a lot or Rad. My best friend calls me Rads. How did you get into tennis? I played a lot of different sports and my dad would do lessons with me in the backyard. He stayed involved and I think it's good to for everyone to play tennis with their family because it makes it fun and it's always a great feeling when, when you can beat them. So what brought you girls into tennis? Well, I've been playing since I was probably about five years old. The kind of social side to it, forget about school and relax and just enjoy the social side and I love tennis. I started when I was about three and I think just it's nice to come here and just like wind down a bit just to like get all my thoughts like away. It's just, it's just really nice to play. It's a good escape. Sophia, what do you love about tennis? I like about tennis with the pizza party. Tell me more about the pizza party. There's loads of pizza and marshmallows and popcorn. And what you go it much meal? Probably sushi because I think it's really simple and easy to digest. You don't want anything too heavy or too complicated. Who are the female role models in your life growing up? I always watched Lee Nam from a tennis perspective. I always really looked up to her and I think modeled some parts of my game around her. And I would also say my mom. She inspired me mentally. She's very strong and, and taught me discipline, taught me hard work. I definitely got my work ethic from my mom. How did you feel like just becoming one of the top players, like winning the US Open, like a young girl as well. It was a surreal feeling winning it. I didn't go into it thinking I was going to win the tournament. Yeah, I was just so focused on playing one match at a time. But I mean, I, I just played completely fearlessly and I think that's really important for girls to just be fearless and developing that skill takes you very far in all walks. Do you think you would have benefited with having girls only tennis sessions when you were younger? It's a funny story. When I was young, my dad drove me to a lot of different clubs to pick which one I wanted to go to and do a squad. And, and the one that I picked was the one that had four girls in it and they were all wearing pink. And I went for that one. Like, I didn't think about the tennis, the coaching, whatever. I couldn't care less. So it was the girls, the one. So I felt more comfortable in that squad. And, and I stayed there for, for quite a while until I outgrew the squad. But um, yeah, I think it is, it's a really probably nice feeling for other girls and, and less scary, I think, um, initially. When did you realise you were going to become like a professional tennis player and how did it feel? Maybe 17. So it's quite late, actually. Um, winning the US Open 18, it was a quick turnaround. But uh, I always just stayed in school and I always wanted to keep that option open. Um, but I think one thing that really helped me was playing the Junior Slams. When I played Junior Wimbledon and Junior US Open, it was such a great taste of what it could be like and, and just the adrenaline playing on those same courts. I think it helped me for the real things. If you weren't a tennis player, what would you want to be? Well, what would I want to be? I think that's also changed over the years. Probably the finance industry because my parents both were also in that sector. Um, yeah, and I also loved maths from a young age. You like maths? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what lessons do you think you've learned throughout your life as a youngster and in your professional career? Resilience, for sure, is one of them. In, in all walks of life, not just tennis, that you can apply it to everything. And, and that's something that I keep to this day when injuries happen, when disappointments happen, it's just so important to get back up no matter how many times. 
How did you feel when you were not US Open? <laughs> I felt very happy. <laughs> So you guys have been grilling me with some questions. Shall we take a quick selfie? Yeah. 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 <laughs>